full-blooded aborigine anymore, man. That's a damn Because story. of eugenics. Okay. Which was perpetu perpetuated by who? America. Okay. Right. Planned Parenthood and all that. You know, so the scriptures are, cl are plain. It says don't trust these people, man. That's right. They've yeah. done too much. They're doing too much. Look at their resume, man. Look uh, at them, man. Got a track record a mile long. Holes in the ozone layer. Spicing, spicing plants. Food got GMOs. Cone and animals. You can't right. even drink a clean glass of water. That's right. And then, and then people want to make the argument, oh, it wasn't me. But you're rationalizing it. Right. You believe in the, the, uh, the uh, American dream and the whole American concepts. Guess what? You're just as guilty. Exactly. The scriptures say, woe to them that do, uh, that call evil good and, and good, good evil. Right. So that applies to average day Americans, man. Right. All patriotic about this place. America has nothing to be pri uh, 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 proud of, man. Okay. You have destroyed people. People lives, man. That's right, I. And you can't justify the wicked, man. You can't sit here and justify the facts of the so-called white man is doing this. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be for, like the brothers going into. You can't be for that shit, man. But you gonna st you gonna stand up for righteousness or you gonna stand up for wickedness, man? There's no in between there. Come, Bible gives you an ultimatum. Come. Uh, this is Saint Saint Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I would that I should reign over them, bring hither and uh -huh. slay them before me. That's the Lord who the world called Jesus Christ. That's 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 he's talking right there, man. Right. Riri, can you read that from the top again? Kind. Saint Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right, so if you don't want the Lord to reign over you, your enemies, he said, bring them hither and slay them before me, man. What's the word slay mean? Kill. It means Destroy. kill them. That, means, that was Jesus talking. And that was who the world calls Jesus. He said that. He said, bring the enemies here before me and slay them before me, man. So if you don't want to get with the program, you're going to die. That's right. And the Lord's going to be the one that's sanctioned to kill you. That's right, I care. That's right. Get with you. Man, you, you gotta, man, people gotta get with the program, man. That's a beautiful point that you made because most of these people out here, they just deserve death, man. It's a simple solution, man. Excellent. To get rid of all the, the ills and all the just the confusion of the earth, man. You just gotta uh, rid the earth of the, of the wicked people, man. That's right. And we the only uh, men with the with the boss to just come out and proclaim it, man. I got one more for you. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is. Uh, Isaiah, this is Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Remember this and show yourselves men. How do you show yourself a man, man? It's by standing up for what is right. Regardless of what anybody right. got to say, man, having integrity. Having integrity about yourself, man. Right on, my brother. The Lord gave you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's all right here, man. That's he right. gonna unlock your mind and understand it if you wanna if you one of his chosen. That's right. But once you once you get your mind unlocked, you gotta come out here and proclaim it to the people. Exactly. That's right. Because the elect gotta get waking up, man, regardless. That's right, Akia. Yeah. The elect have to be waking up, man. But the only way the elect is gonna be waking up is by coming out here and showing yourself as a man and proclaiming what is right. That's right. Not upholding some wickedness, man. Upstanding yourself from your flesh. Showing yourself what's right, man. Standing up for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And by what he said. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about how you feel. Fuck your feelings, man. That's right, huh? If it ain't with the scriptures, man, forget it. But if it is with the scriptures, go by it. Was there any more on that? Kind of just a little bit. It mm -hmm. says, bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Because uh, Peter, he said, uh, uh, stirring up your pure mind back to remembrance. Uh, though you once knew these things. I don't know yeah. if I'm saying it verbatim. So that's what we out here to do, man. Through the power and spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, uh, we was quickened with the word. Right. That's what actually made us stand up to be men. Exactly. Dude. Knowing the commandments. Ain't like, man, hey, I, I can't be eating no pork. Yeah. Damn, you know, she she looked nice, but she got a man. I, I can't deal. Sure. You know? Whatever uh, things that's in the law that we can keep, man, that's what make you a man by applying those things to your life and then getting your butt out here and teaching it to your people, man. That's right, Akira. You got to hold yourself to a standard man this is the standard and this is and this is the standard man if you don't if you don't hold yourself to a standard man you all you you wide open man you if you got an open mind you know that that if, if you got an open mind the scripture tells you man you gotta you gotta walk the narrow path you gotta walk the straight path man 
And if you walk that straight path to go to the straight gate, that goes to show you that you can't you can't go on this side and you can't waver on this side, man. You gotta go straight to the point what you believe in, man. Okay. You know? That's all. Uh, go ahead, bro. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Right. So you gotta let your light. You gotta let your light shine before them. You gotta let your light shine before men. And how do you let your light shine? How do you keep your? How do you keep your? Uh, how do you keep your lamp? Well, well, flame, man. You gotta be in the scriptures, man. It's your oil. You gotta have that oil. And if you run out of oil, man, you're going to be asked out. That's right, Akia. The scripture tells you in Proverbs chapter 6, man, the law is a lamp. Right. And you can't let your lamp burn out. Because if, if you let your lamp burn out, man, you're going to be in that gross darkness. That's right, Akia. And if that gross darkness consumes you, man, you out of there. So, Matthew chapter 10, verse 27, 28. Uh, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. Right. And what you hear in the ear... That preach it upon the housetops. Right, so what we hear, man, what we get through the Spirit, man, we gotta bring that stuff out. We gotta bring out what the, where the Spirit leads us, man. It's, we living in gross, dark times, so we gotta, we gotta shine the light forward. It's just like, it's just like, uh, if you in a dark, if you walking down the street, you're not gonna go down a dark alley that got no lights in the middle of the night. You're gonna try to find that street that got the lights on it, right? That's right. Yeah. So that's like us, man. We out here, we're, we're, we proclaim the truth. You know, so we got that light. But a lot of these other people out here, man, is just fucking roaches. They always walking by, man. That's what a roach does when the light turns on. Kinda, yeah. They scatter. And that's what a lot of these people do. That's what a lot of our people do, man. That's right, man. So you got to hold yourself to a standard, man. You got to know what's right, and you got to follow what's right according to the scriptures. That's right, man. And you can't be, oh, you can't sit here and get, you can't get pussy hurt about what, about what the scripture says, man. Kind of. You know, people want to get, people want to talk about the rape doctrine. Because they, 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 they act like women, man. A lot of these people act like some, act like women, man. That shit gets annoying. No logic. No logic, no standard, no integrity. That's right, man. You're not showing yourself as a man. You're showing yourself as a boy. You got another You got more on that? And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Right, man. So you ain't supposed to fear these people, man. Yeah, you put your life on the line, man. But you're supposed to fear the power that can kill you okay. and kill your spirit. Which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. He proclaimed us to go out here and preach the word. It's a commandment. And we're and we doing this out of fear. Because we already got the truth and, if we, and, and we know that if we don't do this, man, we can get destroyed. So yeah, we're gonna come out here. Yeah, we're gonna look like fools. We look like fools for Yahweh Shah's sake. But rather, fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. So you gotta fear the most high, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He can bug you out, man. You can have this truth today, then tomorrow morning wake up bugged out, not knowing his name. It can happen. The most high can do it. That's right. That's why you gotta hold yourself to the standard, man. You can't be sitting here wavering, going back and forth into the world. And then going back into the truth. Not knowing for sure if this is something that you wanna do. Messing around with the name. You can't do that. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my brethren, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, uh -huh. work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. So you gotta, we, yeah, we, we worry about the brothers around us. It ain't like we just sitting here and we just worrying about ourselves when everybody out there just asked out. But at the end of the day also, man, I can't save this brother, he can't save me. Vice versa for this brother, man. The things that I speak, it can't get him saved. We gotta work out our own salvation, man. Right. We are trying to earn our spot on the chariot. That's right. And that's what we're working for, man. We're trying to get on the chariot because we know destruction's coming. So yeah, when you're on your alone time, you gotta study. You have to read. You have to get into the Hebrew. You have to get into the prophecies. You got a precept by this is for 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Right. So we know the terror of the Lord. That's how we persuade the men. Because we we tell we, we, we preach the destruction, man. 
We preach that bad times is coming to America. That's right, Akia. We preach martial law. We preach concentration camps. We preach that you women gonna be getting raped in the streets, man. That's that's scary. It should scare you. But our people don't. Our people don't. Don't. They're not held to a standard that's because right. they don't fear the Lord. That's right, they lack wisdom. That's All right. Sada's children. Sada's children, man. The scripture tells you in the uh, in Zechariah, I believe it's in the first and second chapter. He cried out to you. He put his hand out to you, and you and you you turned your shoulder. Yeah. So at that time, when all hell breaking loose, you gonna cry out to the Lord. He gonna turn his shoulder. To, he's gonna turn his shoulder to you. That's right. You can get Proverbs the first chapter. Uh, first chapter of Proverbs, like the twenty first. Uh, continuing 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11 But we are made manifest unto the most high Right And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience For we command on ourselves again unto you But give you occasion to glory on our behalf On our behalf That ye may have somewhat to answer them With glory in appearance and not in heart uh, Pretty much I'm going to read it again one more time For we command not ourselves Again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that you may also have somewhat to answer them with glory in appearance and not in heart. Pretty much, you know what it sounds like. You know, we um, through the terror of the Lord, we glorify the Lord through His name. All this, we can't glory in ourselves through all of this stuff, man. We're glorifying the Lord through all of the works that we're doing. We can't, so we can't save ourselves, man. Like Apostle Gabar says, man, you, I can't save him, and you can't save yourself. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is the only one that can save you. Uh, he delivers. And, uh, and the way that you got to be saved, man, is by doing his word. That's right. Proclaiming the word, man. Going out in the highways and byways telling everybody, man. That's right. Like I said, we're not commending ourselves. You know? We're commending the Lord. We're not glorifying. We can't glorify ourselves. We ain't shit. Uh -huh. Excuse my language. Our, right, our righteousness is filthy rags. Right. So we got no need to commend ourselves, man. We was blasphemous for this truth, man. We was going to hell off before this, man. All we have is the Lord to do this for, man. We ain't doing this for ourselves. That's God's glory. Right. The Lord ain't no respect to our persons, man. You know? He told the weak thing on the world to confound the wise, man. Uh, that's right. I got, I got the piece up now. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 27. But the most I have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we look foolish out here, man. But it's going to confound the wise of the wisdom of this world, That's man. Right. And the most I have chosen the weak things of the world. Uh -huh. we look weak yeah, we, exactly, man. We look pale to these people, man. That's right. If we look here shooting them, so like, don't go ahead, brother. Car can jump the curb, you know what I'm saying? We look weak to a lot of people, man. I was driving down the camp, and I was like, man, wolf and sheep clothes, man. That's for real, bro. Yeah. We sheep among the wolves, and these motherfuckers have to get us, man. Yeah, exactly, you know man. We, on, we we already on the list of pro, on pro, uh, Project Megiddo, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We look weak out here to these people, man, because they feel like we just vulnerable. Yes. And that we open. You know, we have, we the men that got the, the so-called dresses on, man. But it's going to be a time where the Most High going to put a spirit on us, Lord willing, we those men to go out here and do some work, man. That's right, Akia. That's right. This to be one. turning to hunters. Keep going. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Mm -hmm. And the things that are is the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty, man. Because Esau thinks that his, all his wisdom is right. So that's why we come out here to break the strongholds, that's man. Right. That's right. Breaking the strongholds that the, that's on these people, man. Proclaiming the truth. Proclaiming what is right. Okay. Showing our integrity. Putting ourselves on the line, man. For Yahweh Shah. For Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, man. We ain't sitting here worried about what other people think. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Right. Wisdom cry without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Right, so we utter, wisdom uttereth the voice in the streets. Ain't that what we doing right now? Okay. Keep going. She cries in the chief place of concourse uh -huh. in the openings of the gates. Right, this ain't this the chief place of concourse? We on the corner of Akron and Main Street, man. We on a busy intersection. And this is the gates, man. So we gonna come out here and proclaim the wisdom. We keep going. Uh, she cried the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city she uttered words saying how long ye simple ones will you love simplicity right that's what we out here doing 
we trying to wake our people up, which is the so which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because y'all simple. Y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to understand reproof or instruction. Okay. So that yeah, the most I got us out here on this corner to reprove you and to correct you. And the scorners delight in their scorning, uh -huh. and fools hate knowledge. Right. So fools hate knowledge, man. And scorners do delight in their scorning, man. People come out here and scoff at us all all the time, and they delight in that shit. Huh. And the people that want that, that, that don't want to get the truth, man, they fools. The Bible, the scriptures calls you a fool, man. That's right. So I'm gonna call you a fool. Like the scriptures even say too, this is already written. It was already gonna happen like that when Edomite earlier came across the street saying, I hate you guys, you guys are gonna burn in hell, I'm gonna slice you with a machete. The Lord already established that was gonna happen, man. We come out here expecting that every day that these people are gonna, like like the brother said in Ezekiel, make their forehead hard against our air forehead. Huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Lord hardens their minds. He, get, he makes them hard-headed, man. These people are brutal as hell, man. Hey, out of there, bro. Yeah. And then the scripture also tells you also, Scoffers is gonna be walking in their own lust at the end of the days, man. And we see that more and more now. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit. Uh, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Right. So how is the Most High pouring out His spirit unto you, man? It's by His men. He speaks through the prophets. This is His word. So how does the Lord talk to you through His word? Gosh, right, brother. But the spirit got to be on you to accept it. Keep going on that. I will make known my words unto you. Uh -huh. Because I have called and you refused. Uh -huh. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have said at not all my counsel. Right, man. So the most high stretched out his hand right now. While the word can still be found. He's stretching out his hand. But you, you people don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to accept reproof and instruction and doctrine. Sound doctrine, that is, man. Good. Huh. Did, uh, did you have a pre uh, precept of backup? Huh. Go ahead. Uh, this is Romans chapter 10. Uh, I'm going to start at 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Uh-huh. For Christ is the for Christ is the end of the law for right righteousness to everyone that believes. Right. So people don't want people don't want to set themselves up to a standard that they gotta still follow the ways of the Lord, man. They feel like the people, the masses of the people feel like when Yahweh Shah came and died on the cross, and that the New Testament came about, that you don't gotta follow no laws, which is true. You don't have to. You don't have to. You're not justified through the law. You're not. You're justified through faith, but yeah, you still got to establish the law in your daily life to the best of your ability. Because if you establish the law in your daily life to the best of your ability, what does that show? That shows your faith. And the ticket. Right. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead, man. Go ahead, brother. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Oh, Think yeah. not that I have come to destroy the law. Right. Or the prophets. Uh-huh. I have not come to destroy it, but fulfill. Right. So the Lord said, Think not that I come to destroy the law. I come not to destroy, but to fulfill, man. That what does that mean? It's as plain as day. That's in your New Testament, man. No, not That's right. The law ain't destroyed, man. He came to fulfill the law. That's right. Through his prophets. Through his prophets, man. So yeah, you can't eat pork still. Yeah, you can't commit adultery. Yeah, you still gotta honor the Sabbath. Yeah, you still gotta honor the Passover. Right, and follow yeah. the high holy days, man. Yeah, cause, cause if I could say this real quick, like people wanna just establish righteousness according to just whatever they feel is right in their own mind, man. But there always has to be a measurement or a ruler but to establish whatever it is that uh, we, we, we call it. So if we're talking about righteousness, what's the standard of righteousness? Sure. It's the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. That's right, yeah. And the scriptures talking about, uh, talk about the law being spiritual. So if, if you're keeping the law through faith, because we understand for you niggas in YouTube land that y'all are trying to say that the law is, is the end all be all, like we dependent on the law to save us. I'm not saying that. 
we, we understand that this thing is, is uh, wholeheartedly through faith. Right. right. But through faith, we keep the law, man. That's right. Out of right. faith in the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh we, we do what the Most High commands us to do. Rehearse the righteous act. The scriptures talk about the, the, the fact that Abraham uh, believed on the Most High. It was accounted uh, as righteousness to him, unto him. Right. You know? And even another example with uh, with Moses, 